Good evening and welcome to 5 News with me, Claudia Liza Vanderpoy. And me, Julian Drucker. Our headlines tonight, choose your Christmas priorities. Let's remind you of our top story. The Prime Minister and the US President have attended an emergency NATO summit in Brussels. We want to hear what you think. Is it now time to move on from the Commonwealth altogether? Is it tainted by some of Britain's past transgressions? Or are countries made stronger by their membership? Uh, a third of the world's uh, population are in it, of course. WhatsApp us on the 5 phone 07 triple five five hundred five oh one is the number from across the uk this is five news Hi there, we've all noticed it. Many are feeling the pinch and some are really suffering as the cost of living crisis continues. Today, confirmation that prices in the UK are rising at their fastest rate in decades. Inflation reached 9% in April, driven by soaring energy prices. Well, to put that in context, take a look at this. Uh, there we are. You can see there's been a really steep rise in inflation over the past year or so. And then Get this, this is how far back you have to go to see the last time that inflation was actually this high. That is 1982, 40 years ago, around the time of a recession. Peter Lane has our top story. Let's do one more snapshot survey in case any uh, ministers are watching tonight. But who feels the government could do more to help at the moment? I think even the, even the kids there as well are saying that. Uh, Phil, you've been volunteering at, at this centre for the last seven years. You're a pensioner. Uh, yourself as well. What could the government perhaps do to help in places like this? I think for starters they should reduce the, the VAT on fuel, reduce that to zero percent. I read that um, you're still doing your weights but you said you're getting wider but shorter. You said you've, you've shrunk two <laughs> inches. <laughs> Haven't you got smaller? <laughs> well everyone gets smaller as they get older and I mean yeah you do. And, um, they gave me steroids and steroids are, are, are they're uh, you know, they're kind of noted for shrinking things. Not everything, though. <laughs> Not everything. <laughs> I know you've got eight kids. Um, just to all these artists selling their songs as well, like Bob Dylan selling their catalogues, would you consider doing all that? Oh, I've got nothing to sell, mate. You've sold it all. <laughs> it's all gone. Where we are is the epicentre, this makeshift uh, refugee centre. It's the car park of a long closed Tesco superstore. 300 or so volunteers uh, working 24 hours a day, helping so many people plan so many journeys. The fires are slightly less intense as well. You can see that the smoke uh, has lifted in the last 24 hours or so, but they really need extra help here. So the EU countries and the UK have donated extra firefighters to the cause here. Election night is turning into election week. Joe Biden's projected blue wave simply wasn't strong enough. He may well be the next president, though. But for his supporters last night, that prospect seemed to fade away. Julian, what's the five phone been telling you then? Always tough to read some of these uh, messages and we thank for, uh, people for getting in touch. Valerie in Lancashire, I'm a single parent to two high school children. Uh, I now work 54 hours a week to make sure I can maintain a semblance of norm normality for my family. Uh, Jamie from Suffolk, I spend my life under my duvet, never put the heating on. I'm going to a food bank for the first time. Uh, I feel so embarrassed and worthless. Um, I hope you're okay, Jamie. I know there's been at least one person who, who, uh, who broke their arm. Uh, and another who had some sort of break, I'm not sure where. You can so we have they not could had... sue the Met. I mean, there is the possibility that could happen. But my officers make life and death decisions every day of the week. There already are homelands for people of the, you know, the Muslim faith and of Arab heritage. What do you say to those people who say your views are repugnant and completely disgusting? Average, everyday people, when given the choice of the privacy of the voting booth, they choose nationalism. Could you come back as a leader? Are you, are I have you, no are you idea. completely ruling out coming back as I'm leader? I'm going to take the summer off and enjoy myself for the first time in 20 years. That's what I'm going to do. So you could come back. I'm going away for the summer. Where are you going? What would you give a drag name for someone who works in news? You know. Oh, that's a good one. Are you, are you applying for season three? Is that what Well, I don't know. I mean, it, it's a possibility. I mean, there was, pan <laughs> there was pandemic, wasn't there? So Pandemic is yeah. a possibility. Um, fake news, depending on how That's, much yeah. research you've been paying yeah. into, your, into your things. Um, but I think you'd make a gorgeous drag performer. That's so cool. I'll, I'll consider it. 
I'll, I'll write it down. Well, she said she was particularly excited to hold the crocodile. Uh, she said they look vicious, but they're actually tame and friendly. Like politicians. <laughs> <laughs> yes. exactly I couldn't same. possibly say. Uh, Pauline, love it, love it, love it. I wish that I is it do that. Uh, for tonight, isn't it? Alex said the weather. Next, have yourself a very good weekend. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye-bye.